So tell us where your, your company's at right now. Okay, awesome. So the company that we have, basically in 2001, I graduated in 2000, 2001 I hit Colorado, we started creating the basic inventory tracking system. At that point in time, it was actually called the Morning Star System. The name of the car dealership was called Morning Star Automotive, and we were just slowly doing that. Well, what happened was is eventually the operations portion of that, operations meaning your day-to-day -day business activity, that started going so gangbusters that the owners were like, oh my goodness, let's get some in Texas, let's get some in Oklahoma. And so they started expanding and expanding and expanding. So we were tracking their operations so well, we actually had about four different systems that were all the exact same thing, but individually kind of mirrored, if you will, for the different entities, mm -hmm. Oklahoma and Texas and Colorado. And then we started having problems because you had one user who needed access to two different sites, and then you had to give different permissions, and then you had, so what ended up happening is we built it to a certain level, and then it kind of started breaking, which is great. This is called progression, okay? And so what ended up happening right there is the main owner, he's like, okay, you know what? We need another one for this. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I can see where you're going. Like it just kept building and building. He's like, why don't you pull back? Why don't you create one big application with settings and permissions as the entire foundation and then build so that you're not having to like micromanage all these smaller accounts. And so I basically proposed that because I was off doing my own little adventures, <laughs> kind of doing some different things. And he's like, wow, I think that could really work. And so they hired another computer guy at Morningstar. And it, it ended up that he wasn't able to uh, fulfill all of his responsibilities. He worked for about a year. But in the meantime, the guy's name is Steve Birkencotter. He's kind of the owner and or brainchild behind this. He basically came in and he's like, Brandon, can you please help? We'll just call his name Scott, OK? Can you help Scotty? get up to speed and so he kind of pulled me back in because I was in the meantime kind of heading in my own little direction and so because of that little year trying to get that other person involved and up to speed I actually was able to catch Steve's vision and be like oh, I see it now and so what we did is we broke from the dealership model which was kind of centralized towards bigger what's called stock units like serialized units big ticket items 17,000 30,000 per item type thing sure versus say uh, small little widgets where it's 10 bucks, a dollar, you know, there's, there's kind of a difference between those things. And so what we did is at that point, when Steve kind of came up with these ideas, we're like, let's break out of the dealership industry and let's kind of open this up a little bit. And so we started doing it and by about 2008, we had about 20 companies running up underneath one single system with multiple settings and permissions and very diverse, very diverse. We had a number of dealerships, we had transportation companies, we had construction companies, we had uh, mini storage, modular homes, like just, we totally started diversifying. And then we ended up coming up with, an, we're like, you know what, at some point we're gonna have to come up with a name. So Steve and I, over a lunch meeting, he basically proposed, how about Atlas? It's Salida spelled backwards. And we're like, yeah, that's cool. And then we came up with an acronym for the, the name of the company, and it's all data is live and searchable. So A-D-I-L-A-S. So anyway, that's kind of a little bit of the history. Where we're at right now is we have hundreds of companies. We have diversity of huge levels, and we've been able to create what's called a system. So instead of just an inventory tracking system or just an accounting system or just a customer relationship management system or just a back-end office and business intelligence, we've kind of wrapped the entire thing in one package. And so we can go to any business and basically be like, I could probably track 90% of your data out of the box. We'll tweak a couple settings and you could almost have your own little, your own little present or like, the only requirements, internet connection. Mac, PC, Unix, tablet, smartphone, laptop, desktop, whatever, whatever. If you want more stuff, we have people who are attached to digital scales, barcode scanners, check printers, flatbed scanners, you know, whatever, whatever. Credit card swipers, you know, little pens that are highlighting for doing it, ordering out of catalogs. It basically, it's kind of a, almost like an e-business buffet. And so mm -hmm. we basically kind of say, you just basically create your account, and the accounts are sm very simple. 
the average business is probably about $100, so it's, it's very teeny. You're familiar with the bookstore. If I was bidding at the bookstore, I'd say 97 bucks a month, and then they could run full barcoding and scanning and printing and sure. running all of their stuff, and if staff wanted to come in and put something on account, just automatically would track a piece of cake. So that's basically the size that we go for. We have other companies that are five and six hundred dollars, but they're bigger, they have multiple, multiple locations, and we probably go up to about a thousand is where our range is. So anywhere from 17, which is like a, a mom and pop, or just a single person, like a student or something like that, say they're tracking their <laughs> homework assignments or research stuff, that's about 17 bucks a month, clear up to about a thousand. And we just kind of, we look at what you have and what you think your needs are, and then we kind of gauge it on that. But most of them are under 200 bucks, about a hundred dollar range. So that's what we sell the monthly service for. Then they basically get the whole package and they can pick and choose what they get to use of the package. So That's really exciting. It is. I, I love it. I, I'm having a blast. I'm having a blast. We've, we've been doing this for quite a while. So literally, we have probably 12 years in this whole budding technology industry that wasn't even really available or didn't even exist. And so there's current buzzwords that right now, they basically are helping us to do our marketing. People don't even know about it. The cloud. We've been playing in the cloud since 2001. You know, it's things like e-commerce. Oh my goodness, I want e-commerce, you know. Like, there was certain people who were doing it, but I, you want e-commerce? We tweak a couple settings, you have e-commerce out of the box. You know, like, it's just, things are going so fast. And where we're headed, which is really fun, is we've created this kind of basic template that's like a, a workhorse or an engine. Mm -hmm. What we're hoping to do with it is imagine if you could basically skin it or consume it however you wanted to. Create a skin to go over an engine that's super powerful. You want a motorcycle, a van, a flying saucer, you know, it doesn't matter. You just skin the engine how you want it and then you get to play. That's some of the potential of where we're going with it. And so good that's things really good things are good things are coming. So that's so exciting. So tell us a little bit about some of the things that you've brought today. Awesome. We've got a bunch of little things. Uh, basically this is a receipt printer so I can kick out a quick little receipt type of deal. Uh, this is a barcode scanner. Actually, none of this is required to use Atlas. You can literally be on your smartphone and still run the exact same thing. Is that right? If you need these pieces, you just add them on. And then you basically, uh, we don't even necessarily sell them to you. So a lot of, there's the thing called a micro system. When you get into like a point of sale type system, there's the thing called a micro system. And so basically what they do is they're like, okay, for $2,500, we'll set up this station and this includes software or license and all the hardware that you need. Okay, for this station you need another 2,500. So say you had five stations, all of a sudden you're, wow, man, I'm like $10,000. What we do in Atlas is we're like, the basic application is your 97 bucks a month, and then you determine what you wanna get. If you wanna go to eBay and get it, go get it. If you wanna go down to Staples, go get it. Like, basically it's a plug and play, so we don't have to micromanage that. And instead of doing the IT stuff, which is your information technologies and networking and stuff like that, we're like, why don't you get a wireless router and then we can have stations here, 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 you know, whatever. And all of a sudden everybody's playing with the different stuff. You can really cut major costs because you're playing in this cloud level. We have a little label printer and a barcode scanner. This is a flatbed printer. Uh, you can print your checks. You can print just normal invoices. You can flip up the top and kind of just scan a document. You can do paperless uh, office. So say, for instance, you get a PO with a whole bunch of items on, on it. You could enter your items into the system, and then if you wanted to provide documentation, do a quick scan, hit upload, automatically ties that, resizes the image, all that kind of stuff. So you could virtually have a paperless office just right out of the box. So 